Hello today's video we have the following content. Ugly men frequently appear in costume dramas. Has Zhang Han's acting skills and appearance regressed? A recent drama has sparked a lot of discussion, and the actress Zhu Zudan has been tortured. She partnered with Zhang Han in the flowing light, and everyone knows that Zhang Han's performance is not very worry-free. The heavy eyeshadow and strange makeup feel like a joke, and I heard that he did it himself. Think about it, Zhang Han has gone from Muir and Yunhei and Let's Watch Meteor Shower together, to Zhang Han Hand and Gentlemen of East District 8, and then to Pianpi and Gongzi in the flowing light, what has happened in these years, the audience is questioning. Let's not talk about acting skills, just talking about appearance, Zhang Han is really not a typical beautiful man in costume dramas. In the flowing light, Zhang Han's headgear and clothes look cheap, and his acting skills are sometimes a bit greasy, which really makes people want to close their eyes. Does such a beautiful man really fit the image in the novel? As the plot unfolds, the audience began to ridicule that it seems that ugly men are back in recent costume dramas. What everyone cares more about is why so many costume dramas have to find those male actors who are not very good looking to be the protagonists. Especially those male actors with some flaws in appearance, who happen to play the most beautiful man in the world in the drama. For example, Chinese Paladin IV and Chinese Paladin VI, these two dramas really awaken the feelings of many viewers. Everyone has special feelings for this IP, but when they see the plot, many people can't help but feel cheated. In Chinese Paladin IV, Zhu Jingai's makeup and acting skills are still the same as usual, and her cuteness and playfulness are helpless. But the male protagonist Chen Heyuan is disappointing. Although the character's setting is a chosen person, his performance really makes many viewers want to leave. There is a section in the play where he goes home to tell a story, but the camera turns to the tablet. Such an arrangement is really laughable. Besides, his appearance, can he fall in love with the heroine at first sight, are all handsome and sunny faces. But his performance in the play is really a bit lame, his eyes are tired, and the vicissitudes of life on his face can't be concealed. Although he was wearing makeup, his bangs and hairstyle were just funny. Despite this, Chen's heroine tried to act like a handsome man. Even in a line scene, he did not forget to act handsome, with exquisite makeup and hairstyle, presenting the handsome messy feeling to the audience. Unfortunately, being handsome is not enough. He often pretends to be cute, such as scratching the back of his head, which makes him look a bit silly. Speaking of Tony Yang, he has been known since the sky of 17. He has good looks and temperament, and is particularly suitable for playing tough guy roles. In The Punishment, his performance is charming, but he does not seem to be restricted by his looks and likes to play gentle roles. However, in Shanghai Yang Fu, he played the third prince, which disappointed many viewers. His dark skin and prominent facial features are completely inconsistent with the characters in the original book. And when he acted with Zhang Ziyi, the sense of disobedience was really speechless. In all as well, although he is Yao Chen's white moonlight, as soon as the audience sees him, they start to doubt whether he is an undercover agent, which is really funny. The actor Peter Ho is also a topic figure. He seems to have an obsession with playing handsome men and domineering CEOs, but he has been complained about in many dramas. Looking back at his role in Storm, with his ramen head and confused eyes, I really don't know how he attracted so many fans. In 18 Arhats, he was also labeled as a handsome man, but he was always overshadowed by Jiao Wenjin. Zhao Yaoding's attention is not just because of his appearance. In Eternal Love, his performance also disappointed many book fans. However, as the plot develops, he has attracted many fans with his acting skills, and the voices of complaints have gradually subsided. These actors are not ugly, but they may not have found the right roles for themselves. Peter Ho's role as Wu Pin in Nothing Gold Can Stay makes people feel that he is an ideal candidate. Acting skills are more important than appearance, but in costume dramas, many viewers still pay more attention to appearance. After all, these plots are fictional. Who can accept that the gentle and jade-like young man in their imagination becomes an ugly man with dark skin and wrinkles? Zhang Han's performance in the play is really disappointing. The production is also sloppy, especially the cheap colorful dagger. The audience knows that it is not carefully made. As a prince, Zhang Han has no temperament and his body management is not very good. It really makes people want to ask, can the appearance and acting skills of the current costume dramas be casual? Next news. Zhang Han's The Night Walker premiered in South Korea, and the costume comedy reproduced the classic image of Wei Zia Bao. The Night Walker starring Zhang Han premiered in South Korea and received a warm response. The drama combines costumes, 
comedy, and action elements. The protagonist is similar to Wei Zia Abeo, and the plot is full of dramatic reversals. The costumes and props restore history, the action scenes are of high standard, and Zhang Han's performance has been well received. The drama has successfully entered the overseas market and promoted cultural exchanges between China and South Korea. The Night Walker starring Zhang Han was officially premiered in South Korea recently, attracting widespread attention. This TV series was once shelved for various reasons, and now it can finally meet the audience. Fans' expectations have long reached a peak, and the premiere of the series quickly sparked heated discussions. The first four episodes of the drama that were launched online can already be watched on the video platform. After the broadcast, the response was enthusiastic, and many viewers said that the wait is worth it. The Night Walker takes the historical background of the Ming Dynasty as the main line, integrating various elements such as costumes, comedy, and action. The setting of the protagonist in the play is similar to that of Wei Zia Abeo's multifaceted role, he has both heroic martial arts and is full of wit and humor. The character image is vivid and very attractive. The plot revolves around how the protagonist strategizes in the complex court struggle and the chaotic environment of the rivers and lakes. It is not only full of drama, but also often brings unexpected plot reversals. This style of light comedy in the Ming Dynasty has both a classical atmosphere and a modern humorous approach, which can attract young audiences without appearing too frivolous. In addition to the plot, the costumes and props in the play are also quite interesting. The production team strives to restore historical details in costumes and scenery, presenting a more realistic Ming Dynasty style to the audience. Zhang Han's styling in the play not only retains the classical beauty of traditional Ming Dynasty costumes, but also adds more modern elements to make the character image more vivid. In addition, the action scenes in the play also have a high level of performance. The actor's skills and the scheduling of the camera complement each other, adding more viewing to the series. After the premiere, the drama sparked widespread discussion in South Korea, not only gaining a high number of views, but also attracting the attention of a large number of drama fans. Many viewers said that the drama has both humorous plots and a sense of history, and is a rare masterpiece. Zhang Han's performance in the drama was he even more well received. He interpreted the protagonist's wit and humor vividly, showing his excellent acting skills. The Night Walk of Jin Yi is not only highly anticipated in China, but also successfully entered the overseas market. In particular, Korean audiences are increasingly interested in this type of Chinese costume drama. The broadcast of this series has further deepened the cultural exchanges between China and South Korea. In the future, the drama is expected to be broadcast in more regions, bringing more surprises to global audiences. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,